I'm starting to put some of the lighter areas in the poppy buds, which is, are just terrific. And they're one of the special things about painting a poppy garden. And so you have to get there to paint them where you have all this brightness of the poppies, but you still have uh, many of the buds. So you have that different kind of texture and shape juxtaposed against that bright, bright orange of the poppies. So I've, I've used a dark with the blue, and now I have a sort of mint green color. And now I'll, I will, with that, make them feel more light struck by putting uh, an even lighter color on top. So I'm going from dark to light when I do that so I don't end up with muddy color. So as you can see they're starting to come out of the background. And now I'm going to find a, a lighter sort of bent green and put the light struck area and then you get this kind of glow that happens. So here I go. Then you get this drama that happens with that flower bud. Same drama that you see when you're look, just looking at a field of poppies. Um, I'm going to go back to the middle green to get some of the buds in the foreground. And some of that dark blue on the edges will still come through, and I think that's really interesting when, it, when you get that effect. So now I'm going to put a bit of the light and even a little bit of the fuzz at the foreground poppies. So you can start to see the fuzzy edges of the poppies. I've worked on my painting since last you saw it and um, Today, right now, rather, I'm going to finish up my demo. I'm putting some branch work from a lilac tree over the fields of poppies so that they will go back in space a bit and move the eye back with the curve of the arched branches. And now I'm going to uh, put the medium value on some more of the uh, uh, poppy buds and then I will work into the light because I feel like I'm almost done with the painting and you don't want to go too far. You want to stop while you feel like you probably still have a little bit more to do. Otherwise, you will tend to overwork the painting. Um, so I'm working in some of the foreground leaves, some more of the buds. And while uh, I, I worked on it independently, I put some of the centers of the uh, flowers, which you can see have more of the dark or medium value, rather um, hot pink, which are so fun in the centers of uh, poppy flowers. Um, now I'm going to work a little bit of the light red on the buds. And uh, the step work as well to give me that overlapping. So this allows the eye to go back. Uh, the 
color that I chose is sort of a grayish dark, I mean a grayish light rather. And again, some work on the leaf pattern, the foreground. I want it to still have sort of an abstract kind of feeling to it. I think that it does. So I'm going to stop soon on this. I hope you have enjoyed watching me paint Rita's poppies in her fabulous garden. Thank you.